we look to the future, I hope we climb to new heights. So without further ado, I'm going to turn the podium over to our former principal, Miss Suzanne Waters. Thank you. Thank you. Everyone who's fortunate enough to reach this day knows that it's coming. One day I woke and realized that this day is here. So I'd like to leave you with this. God has plans for you. Don't waste the tomorrows that you have chasing what doesn't matter. Arguments when the winning doesn't matter. Priorities that no longer matter. You can do better. God's north for you. Only need your courage to be realized. Thank you. I'm grateful. steadily losing blood pressure from his internal injuries. He's just a kid. No exit wound. But let's get him bagged and on a ventilator right now. He's going into hypovolemic shock. Contact anesthesiology, book the OR. Although Suzanne Waters is leaving us, she'll never really be gone. I know I can never completely fill the shoes left behind. You are always welcome here at South High. In one month, she will add grandmother to her long list of accomplishments. I'm so sorry David wasn't able to be here today. Oh, I know his job's important. He's going in shock and need a blood type. One. Check two, his blood pressure. Three. Three legs elevated. 300 cc saline drip. Start an A-line. Go home 
and stay there. I'll be right back. Go home and stay there. Go home. Can you move over? Did I have to put you on the side of the road and lift your car? <laughs> what makes you think we're going to a hospital? I'll take your car after I deliver you to the hospital. Payment, right? You are not the typical car. The important thing is keeping your mind off that eight pound alien that's about to pop out of you. Mm. He's early. Free term as in before or after 32 weeks. Mm, around there. Around there. Knowing when you pass preterm is pretty important. Mm. Oddest thing, did you know if they transplant a woman's heart into a man's, the diameter of the arteries will increase, mm. men naturally have larger arteries. Mm. You have 60,000 miles of blood vessels and every red blood cell goes completely around your body in 60 seconds. If you produce 25,000 quarts of spit in your lifetime, that could fill two pools. So where do you get this stuff from? The library, thanks to soccer moms like yourself that live in suburbia. It's a good thing you pay your taxes. I mean, how entertaining a conversation would we be having if I didn't have internet access? <laughs> Get another line going on. We're losing him. Your brain requires 10 watts of power to operate. True. You think your brain is more active during the day when the rest of your body is, but it's not. Your brain is more active when you sleep. Mm. Mm. No, don't stop. Keep, keep going. Keep going. 90% of the information you gain, you gain from sight. You can't tickle yourself. Go ahead. Try to tickle yourself. The reason why your stomach doesn't destroy itself is because it produces cells faster than you can destroy them. Frequent dreams are correlated with higher IQ. You must dream a lot. <laughs> People think wisdom teeth are none set of teeth, but they're really just a third set of molars, largely useless beyond crowding the mouth and causing pain. You'll be about one centimeter shorter when you go to bed at night than you are when you wake up in the morning. The cartilage in your spine compresses throughout the day. If you're right-handed, you can live up to nine years longer than a lefty. Only humans shed emotional tears. Oh, this woman's having an alien! More people have a heart attack on a Monday than any other day. Oh, thank you. 20% more. You got her here just in time. You can wait for your mother over there. Oh, wait. What's your name? Babies are born with 350 bones. Adults have 206. Fusion. Hey! Freeze! I need security backup. Hey, hey, hey! hey get off me! Stop! Do not resist me! I want the door to exit! Give me your other hand. I need a duty backup unit in the South Visitor's Lot at Highland General. Let's make sure we've stopped all the bleeding before we close them up. Yes, sir. More suction? Vitals are stabilizing. Sweetie, your bride left a phone. I'm gonna drop it by. If you're busy, you're busy. It'd be great to see you. Love you. All right, again, on three. One, two, three. Push! Come on, Jess. Push. That's why I always double check for bleeding. Dr. Waters, you're having a baby. You ready? Oh, no. I, I don't think I'm ready yet. Tell my wife I'll be there as soon as I finish up here. Temperature's back up. 
Blood pressure is looking good. Jessica, we need to get the baby. I need you to push. Push. Oh, it's 20. It's going to be okay, Jessica. Get my neonatologist down here. What's wrong? My baby. It's going to be okay. One, two, three, and push. Stand up. You have the right to remain silent. Walk forward. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. Watch your head. You can do it, Jessica. Baby's in the canal. Heart rate's decelerating. Heart rate's decelerating. Doctor, what is it your wife? You need to come now. Let's keep him sedated for two hours in case I didn't get all the way. We're gonna be fine, and a baby will be too. You can't say that with confidence. What's going on? Based on what? You heard the doctors. Should I leave? No. Mom, our baby was born with Tetralogy of Flow, okay? Blue baby syndrome. Oh, will he be all right? Well, the veins and arteries are basically swapped, so it will require open heart surgery. So it's very serious. I'm so sorry. Is there anything I can do? What can I do to help? <sighs> Listen, my post op is having complications. I have to go check on him. I'll be back to check on you soon, okay? She is not a patient that you check on. Can't someone else take the call? Um, look, it's my patient, okay? It's just not that easy. I'm here for you. I'm so sorry. <sighs> this boy, he saved my baby's life. And possibly mine, the doctor said. It was a miracle he was there. Can you do me a favor? Can you find him? Thank you. Of course. And I'm so sorry. I have to do something first. Just let me go for an hour and I'll come back here, I swear. Please. Come on. Come on, kid, let's go. No, 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 stop, stop. You don't want to do that. Get off me. Stop it. Come on now. I'm trying to help you. I never asked for your help. I feel like I'm spreading on a treadmill with these kids. OK, 
congratulations on becoming a grandma. Thank you. But for now, while that baby's being stabilized, there's no visitation. I'm sorry. I understand. Seems very serious. It is, unfortunately. Maybe you could point me in the direction of the young man that brought my daughter-in-law in. I was told that he was arrested. Thank you. I knew that was you. Oh, you knew, huh? I could feel you. I don't have to see you. I didn't mean to wake you. I'm sorry. I got tied up. You got busy. Did it help? I know you're scared. It has to be hard. You not being able to do anything. I just hope while you're processing your feelings, you'll include me. Hey, sweetie. No wonder people get sick and are overweight. Look at what you're eating in here. <laughs> mm. Jessica is an amazing woman. Don't take her for granted. So you two been talking? Moms. I can see things. Mom, look. I can't deal with this right now. Okay, Jessica just doesn't understand the requirements of my job. Let's just leave it at that. Jessica is your priority. Your job's not your life. No, my life's become a medical dispensary. It's like I went to med school to become a soda machine. Look at you, page, you're going off. I remember I'd be sitting here with your father while he did visitations. And wow, now you're here. All your father needed was that kidney for a few extra years. Because he was so proud watching you cross that stage, Dr. David Isaac Waters. Okay, Mom, that's great. I gotta go, okay? Love you. Your father healed hearts inside these walls. Hearts.
I miss you. Hi, I'm Suzanne Waters. I'm the mother-in-law of the woman you helped. I don't need a thanks. Uh, uh, th th that's great to hear, because it makes thinking you that much easier. Thanks for agreeing to meet. How is she? Jessica, right? Yes. She's doing very well, Eli. The doctors say you saved her baby's life. How about it? Block one step under recreation. Block one recreation. I'm going to find a way to help you. You don't have to bother. I was stealing her car. If she was in the Beamer, I'd be at a chop shop right now, and I'd be a grand richer for it. And you wouldn't have been arrested. And you and I wouldn't be talking. I believe that God wants me to be here. If I request to see you again, will you see me? Attention guests and residents. Morning visitation hours are in. They are reopened from 2 p.m. to Time to go. Come on. Again, morning visitation hours are in. I wish that you were here. Your son had a boy. They haven't named him yet. And I made a new friend. And he's very complicated. The faucet broke. a 30-foot Christmas tree for. <laughs> and it crushed the roof of that bread on top when he cut it down. <laughs> what was Isaac thinking? Well, he thought that it would come to rest on the roof of the truck so he wouldn't have to load it alone in the woods. <laughs> Genius. Genius. Oh, it sunk the tire into the mud. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You know, whenever I brought that story up, he would always say, oh, well, you try driving a 30-foot tree on the top of a rental truck on Interstate 30 and avoid <laughs> getting a ticket. <laughs> Greater works than these shall he do because I am going to my father. That's how that husband of yours always lived. You didn't come here to talk about Isaac. There's this boy. That doesn't sound good, and I know that look. His name is Eli, and bigger problems than just a little trouble at school. When Isaac got sick, I felt, no, Lord, I can't lead this congregation. I just don't have that special thing, that, that indescribable way that people just naturally follow. You know what he said to me? God doesn't choose us because we're confident in our preparation to go and do what he's called us to do. He chooses us because he knows what we're capable of. Then he handed me this. His words to me, follow God's north for your life's calling. What I don't need is more drama in my life, Mom. You two are my priority. Look, he's a criminal. I don't care if he's only 14. 16. Worse. 
Who are you doing this for? Look, that boy showed up the moment that Jessica needed Mom, him. Mom, I get it. Happy coincidence, good fortune, we got lucky. I I'm grateful. But you're being ridiculous. I believe it's more than that, don't you? Oh, Ma. Mom, who are you doing this for? I know what you're implying. Okay, great. Tell me if I'm right. Mom, you are not the keeper of Dad's legacy. Just let it go. Look, I just came for an update. Any news, maybe see him. Mom, he's going in for surgery on Monday. And they're running a dye test to get a better picture for surgery. It's just very vulnerable right now. One in four don't make it. Look, I'll try to arrange a time where you can see him. But it'll be through the glass. I'm sorry. I understand. I'll get a prayer chain going. Did you decide on the name? You could say it's not fair. I have to do rounds. So how are you feeling? I saw the young boy that helped you. How is he? Did you get a name? His name is Eli. Mm. And I'm not sure why anybody would want to be in his shoes. Hmm. He seemed... Spunky and smart. He's in jail. Apparently, he's a car thief. Seemed all hard to me. I think so, too. You are going to be a great mother. You know, the miracle is that we even conceive this child. He keeps telling me the Extra hours put him in line to run the ER. Like that it was gonna give him more time with me. With us. But don't say anything. I'll, I'll just make it worse. Okay. Thank you. I'll talk to him though. That kid, Eli. Please tell him how grateful I am. There's something about him. Some kind of connect, right? Like I knew him. He put me at ease. I wish I could help him. Oh, you have plenty to deal with. And I am so scared. It's going to be all right. You just say the word and I will be here for you. I know. I know. He's going to jail. There's nothing you can do to change that. It's not mine to question. It's mine to do. Well, I get it. You're one of those. <laughs> Life Lesson 101. These kids get saved by Jesus in prison every day. And then when they walk, they go right back to the life they know all they've ever known. And then, they're back in front of me very soon after getting out. I'm sorry to be so candid. Mrs. Waters, you need a wake-up call. <laughs> we call that a come-to-Jesus moment. I appreciate your experience and concern. Helping someone doesn't change them. 
Is there a bond that I can pay so he doesn't have to stay in jail? Temporary custody. Do you recommend that I hire a lawyer for him? All of the above. So you're hanging in there? The average human sheds 600,000 particles a day, one and a half pounds a year. Imagine how much flesh is on these floors, this table. Um, understood. Um, <clears throat> silly question. This is like county, but for kids. Ever been to county? County, which, which county? Yeah, you keep it up, kid. You know she's here to help. Do you think you can sneak me in some bones? Benjamins? Scratch? Cabbage? Cabbage? Playing? Money? I need some favor from the Bug Squad. Uh, 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 I'm sorry, but I can't do anything like that. And I was kidding. What I can do is get you out of here. You would have to be under my supervision. Now, is that something that you would want? Why would you do that? I'm not completely sure. Honest answer? OK. I'll get it arranged. You don't owe me. I'm doing it for selfish reasons. Even better. Eli's parents were killed in a car accident. No will, no one came forward. Oh my, what a start in life. It's not an overnight process to foster. A home study visit is required, and you'll have to bring him to meet with me weekly. I'll see what I can do about a special circumstance, but you'll have to be enrolled in the classes. Glad to. Thank you. <sighs> Ms. Waters, uh, he's been in foster care since he was 10. He's never stayed in the same home for more than three months. We lost track of him for the last 18 months. Plainly spoken, you're taking out bail, and he's a runner. You might just be a way out of juvie for him. Understood. Did you know he has a sister? A sister? Yes. She was four, he was 10. The unfortunate reality is that couples are often looking for kids under four years. He ran with her the first time to keep them together. Is she in placement? Uh, police are looking. I'm compelled again to ask, Ms. Waters, why? Because I believe God brought Eli to me. Uh, Eli? Ms. Waters. Mrs. Waters? Excuse me. Mrs. Waters is risking a lot to help you. Do you understand? Yes. And why should your yes give me reassurance that you'll be here on your court date for grand theft? You don't trust me. Nothing in that folder will make you trust me. My word doesn't mean much, but you can trust in Mrs. Waters' word. That's right. But what's also true is Mrs. Waters has no experience in dealing with a young man like you. 
Stealing cars is wholly different from a kid skipping classes. My responsibility is to the judicial system and to law enforcement. So having said that, your bail is set at $100,000 for flight risk. I've really done it this time. Either I'm completely out of control or I'm going to learn the lesson of a lifetime. Listen, you seem like a nice lady. Don't let this kid use you. He's very smart. Just the same. Okay. Look, I know it's gonna take you a while to trust me, but we have to communicate. Are you hearing me? Yes, I hear you. Well, good, that's a start. So you have a sister. Everyone lies once a day, that's a fact. Can't run from the truth, that's also a fact. Look, the police are searching for your sister. Is there anything that you can tell me that would help them? No. This is Eli. Wait a minute. I thought we were going to talk about this first. Come here. I never got a chance to thank you. It's like I told your mom. I didn't intend to help you. You can't tickle yourself. And frequent dreaming is associated with having a higher IQ. Really? But the average person falls asleep in seven minutes, dreaming for 30. You know what? I'm, I'm glad everybody is having fun right now, but this is not a good time. They're just useless facts. Well, they help me keep my mind off of my worries on the way to the hospital. Thank you. How's your baby? Oh, wait a minute. That's, that's private. He's fine, thanks to you. Any news? We are not about to have this conversation here right now. I think I should go. Look, you know what? You did a good thing, okay? And I'm grateful. But right now is not a good time. Well, he's going to be using your old bedroom. My room. Yeah, OK. I just thought it was right to let you know we'll be going. Thank you again. Sure. What is wrong with you? Me? I, babe, I see these kids every day coming through the ER. My mom doesn't know what she's getting herself into. This was obviously my son's room. I'll let you get settled in. The clothes on the bed are yours, and we can get more. Nice. Please let me apologize for my son's behavior. He's in his 30s, the age when you think that every decision you make is permanent. <laughs> When you're his age, you'll remember this conversation. I don't plan on getting to 30. Oh, I hope so. I'll start dinner.
Jessica's sleeping soundly, Mom. I don't know if somehow she's found peace in all this. You just let yourself in. Come on, Mom, I was worried. Is he asleep? David, I'm still your mother. I know, that's why I was concerned. Well, he's gone. He's gone? What, what does that mean, he's gone? He climbed out the window. Did you call the police? I'm handling this. Mom. What if he comes back here tonight and breaks into your house, Mom? What, like you just did? I'm not some misguided youth. Did you go after him? He took my car. <laughs> Naomi! 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 What's this? This is a joke, right? Hey, Bob, you gotta be kidding me. You, you put your house, dad's house, grandma and grandpa's house up for bail? Well, it might look confusing, but it's not. God just hasn't made it all very clear yet. <laughs> right, I'd agree with you there. Well, see, we can agree on something. Well, I tell you what, I guess you will definitely be downsizing now. Watch your tone. Look, Mom, you're not staying at your house tonight, okay? He could come back. All right, we need to go. You take care of Jessica and your baby. Naomi! Naomi? 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 Sorry about your car. I'm not worried. The police will find it. I can't believe all this is happening. What are you so afraid of? Look, it's just... I don't know, things just aren't unfolding the way I wanted them to. You poor thing. You know, you just berate me when I tell you. Oh, yes, when you lied to me. Well, you tell me, Mom. You measure up, David. You're as good as any of the rest of them. And you don't need a bigger title to make them see in you what already exists. I don't want to forget it, okay? You're not going to listen to me anyway. Let's change the subject. Mamas can worry needlessly about their boys. But they also know when not to worry in silence. What is it? So why are you helping this kid? Oh, you're changing the subject. It's uncomfortable. You tell me why. You're scared. Like the rest of us. That somehow without a title, you lose touch with a purpose in life. Mom, is that what helping this kid's about? I may be a little off in my purpose, but I'm not trying to get that from a boy. He needed help. I felt called to help. If you hadn't inherited this place, would you and Dad have still picked it? Why are you asking? But well, Dad's passed. You're still living here. Four bedrooms? You were never supposed to be an only child. Sometimes a mother just blurts it out. 
age gives you permission to do that. And yes, this house, it feels empty. But I just can't yet. Dr. Hauser, he's in great care, okay? I don't want to leave him. I know, May. I know. Of course we should name him. How can we not name our son? I want to just make things harder. For who? Don't you bury my son before God does. Baby, that's him. Catch a break.
we have an appointment for your home study. Oh, yes. Of course. Yes. How's Eli doing? He's gone. I I'm so sorry. I am as well. I'm going to have to tell the court that was part of his conditional release. I can never earn your heart. I can never reach that far. But you have pulled me close. You'll never let me go. I'm safe forever in your arms. Your promises I cannot. You're lucky. You got an exit wound. This one's yours. Me? I, I don't think I'm ready for this. You're going to be here, right? Oh, no rookie, man! You see? I'm a rookie. Well, welcome to the major leagues, OK? You don't even have to find a bullet. If you get into a mess, just page me, all right? Nah, man. No! Look, you chose your fate when you joined the Knife and Gun Club, OK? All right, man. Let's try to do this. Try? Ah! Ah! Man! Ah! Ah! Hey, dog, be gentle! Files about an inch thick, and I've worked on them before. Do you know who I am? Had to get off this treadmill. Couldn't stay away. Oh, oh, this is me not being a stranger. I couldn't resist the invitation to just drop by anytime, so. Here I am. <laughs> oh, I see you got my desk. Principal Carr moved me into the waiting area. I feel most student issues now. Really? Mm-hmm. The kids wait there. I guess Principal Carr had too much paper pushing to deal with student issues. She calls me her first line of defense. Ah. Oh, hello. Oh, we were just talking about all of the paperwork. Oh, you never told me. Well, I can help you with that. All of my years of experience shuffling papers might come in handy for you. You are so sweet, but I got it. Good to see you, though. Don't be a stranger. This is my not being a stranger. Maybe you took on too much too soon. Find a quiet place and ask yourself why you got involved. Not just the circumstances of the boy, but why you reached out to him. And why it is you think you're the one to reach Eli. Get alone with God in prayer. Get your bearings. Thank you.
business chart. Thank you. All right. Good afternoon, everyone. Calvin, how we doing? You see what you're doing to your parents? All right, this was serious. Calvin, you have got to stop worrying your mom and dad so much. I was just trying to make some money. Let your father and I worry about that. Calvin, next time you come into my hospital, it better be because I'm pulling out your tonsils. Every tick on that clock is another chance to do it again. Do a Yui. What do you say? Thank you. How's that treadmill feel now? You know, I always tell him, tick tock, do the U-turn, and go in the right direction. Thank you. Jess, look, I, I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. We'll get through this. Oh, listen, no, you, you don't understand. Look, I'm, I'm getting better. Just say you'll stay. I'm not gonna stay lying in bed. Our baby needs us. <laughs> you packing up for the hospital? Sorry, I saw the suitcase. You thought I was leaving? <sighs> Come here. <sighs> I can't balance anything right now. Listen, I will work on my hours. That would be great. But you should know, I married the man I'm going to spend forever with. And besides, these would give me horrific panty lines. <laughs> <laughs>
I made it. Yes, you did. Dr. Mary Schultz. day would happen. Now I get a chance to see our son David graduate. We will be together. I'll be waiting for you in recovery. You can't get rid of me yet. It's good to see you. I understand if you're mad. Relieved. Honestly, I came back because you're the only one who believed me. It's okay if you don't want to. Eli, I want to be here for you. My sister's lost. The night I helped Jessica, I lost her. Again. She was supposed to just go home. I built a shelter. I'm sure she tried. I'm supposed to take care of her. I promised my dad I'd keep us together. Well, that's a tall order for someone so young. No, it's not. Why did you do it, Eli? Help Jessica. It was the right thing. 
And if she wasn't in the car? I needed the money for us to survive. Well, you're trusting me. Don't you think that other people would want to help you too? I don't trust you. I'm glad you care, though. She's my sister. She's all I have. And they didn't want to keep us together. What would you have done? You're a smart kid. You're not alone. You don't have to do this by yourself anymore. All I have is a photo of my dad. I can't even remember what my mom looks like. Eli, I have something that I want to share with you. I never got to thank the person that gave my husband a few more years. What was wrong with him? He needed a kidney. A donor allowed him to see his son graduate from medical school. That's cool. Yes, it was. Never wanted to meet the other driver. Walked away from the accident, just got out of his car and walked away. When you get to be my age, what you want to do doesn't always match up with what you can do anymore. You're taking me back to Juvie. No, 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 that's not it. I don't want to lose anything else. You have to find her. We will. Your father was the person that gave my husband those extra years. I didn't forget. Your mom was beautiful. I dug this out of an old shoebox. I didn't know that my husband had discovered who his donor was. My dad? Keep this photo. Yes. Yes, you can. We have to both believe that we're headed in the right direction. Whatever it is. We named him Christopher. Oh, Christopher's a beautiful name. Turns out that I just got a few days with my son. To hold him was amazing. I just want to say I'm grateful. He did the right thing. He sure did. We should pray. Yes. Yeah, come on, let's pray. Lord, we need your strength at this time. Yes, Lord. For ourselves, for our son, Christopher. Guide the surgeon's hands and guide us to Eli's sister, Naomi. 
Watch over that beautiful little girl, Lord. Teach us to love, just to love, and to be loved while in the world. We're gonna do the best we can to find your sister. And I know you don't wanna hear this, Eli. Mrs. Waters here may be your last chance to get things right. This is going to help us? This is going to help you. God has a north for your life. But you have to put your trust in Jesus. Thanks for everything. This compass will remind you that God wants to help you to get where you're going. We're going to find your sister. I'll see you in the morning. And don't climb out the window. The police are still looking as well. You have a beautiful facility here. Thanks. This is actually where we get to do most of our ministry work. God's been really good to us. Yes, he has. Listen, Elliot, I really appreciate you contacting me. We're going to do everything we can to help. Thank you. How long has she been missing? A week yesterday. Let me make some phone calls, see what we can do. I'll help in the search as well. If Naomi's out there, we're going to find her. Thanks. I can't say that everything's okay Cause I can see the tears you're crying And I can't promise to take the pain away you can know I won't stop trying I'll be the angel by your side I will get you through the night I'll be the strength you can't provide on your own Cause when 
Like you still live here. Well, I did once live here. Oh. <laughs> Is everything okay? Dr. Tolley told us that the first six hours are critical, and Christopher's doing great. Oh, I'm <laughs> so happy for you. Oh. I'll hang the pinata. Okay, Eli, that's a bit much, okay? Sorry. Eli, stay positive. All right, we'll find him. Understood. This is it. Kept coming back, but she didn't show up. Eli, how long have you been living here? A year, maybe. I just feel like I'm letting my dad down. What is it with dads? You know, I never felt like I matched up either. That's your dad, huh? Papa Waters. My dad has better teeth. Mine is hair. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you know what's crazy? They'd both probably be proud of us. But somehow that's just not enough, right? Look, you need anything else before we leave? Just wish I had more time with him. But it, it's cool that he helped your dad out. Wait, what? What are you talking about? So you don't know? I didn't know what? So you're helping me because you want to. 
Feel I'm helping you for the same reason you helped my wife. I'm glad you feel like you don't owe me. Wait, wait a minute, wait. Are you trying to say that your dad was my dad's donor? Yuri. That's a good word for it. Hey, I, I just got off third shift. I'm sorry if I woke you, and I appreciate your time. Yes, sir. I know it's tough, but we got the whole neighborhood looking. All right, I know we'll find it. That's what I keep telling myself, but, uh... Hey, well, don't stop telling yourself. Oh, look, there they are. Hey, guys. Hey. <laughs> How's it going? Hey, sweetie. Hey, mama. Hey, sweetheart. Do you guys need anything? Water, food? No, no, we're fine, actually. The volunteers came and brought us lunch, so everybody's good. Except him, he's not eating. Sweetie, you're gonna have to eat. Or else I'm gonna get out of this car and come and hug you until you do. I'm good. Don't worry about him. All right. Oh, he's gonna be a great father. Yes, he is. Okay. Yeah. It's only a matter of time. Eli, this is the house you grew up in. Look, you don't have to go in there. And I can get somebody else from the team to take this one. me a bit. Everyone's in such a hurry. Run here, run there. What's the point of my age? <laughs> Suddenly no hurry. Hey, I got beans on. You selling something because I don't want No, no, no. We're, we're not selling anything. Hey, 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 hey. I ain't got nothing to rob for. It's nothing like that, ma'am. Listen, I'm David. Hey, David Waters. And this is Eli. Eli. Well, David and Eli, Eli, what's you want? Like I said, I got beans on. Just want to know if you've seen this girl. Oh, she said you'd be coming. She's inside. Eli. Lovely young girl, not like him. Well-mannered. Come on in. Why don't you come here? You said I'd come home. I did, didn't I? Yeah, you said I'd come home. Come here. I want to show you something. We're having beans. You want some? No, thank you. I got plenty. Bacon, butter, and pepper. That's my special way of doing it, my secret way. Listen, I want to thank you for taking such good care of Naomi. As if she were one of my own. Well, this was her house, you know? Of course I know that. You think I stuck her in a corner and told her to be quiet? Sweet little girl, just like my girl. 
You know what, I think I will have those beans. This is where mom read you bedtime stories. Do you remember? Not really. Play later, okay? Just let everybody know. Love you. How you doing, beautiful? I'm David. I've heard a lot about you. All right. How's that baby? Oh, well, doing well. Weecho, why don't you come help the young lady out? I'm sure nothing here will fit me. Yeah, I I'm sorry about that. Any more out in the car? The trunk is open. Hey, kid gloves, bro. I didn't know there were breakables in the clothes. A lifetime of them. Thank you. It's a big step for you, Mrs. Waters. How did you know? We appreciate you trusting us with such an important part of your life. He would have wanted this. Well, every little bit counts. <laughs> your church has been such a great help. We're blessed. <sighs> Can you hold on to these for me? I'd be honored. I know where you live. Judge James Lee. You may be seated. This is about as odd as it comes. I didn't think this would end here. Ms. Waters? Mrs. Waters? Mrs. Son? Do you realize the importance of the opportunity that you're being afforded? I do, sir. I'm suspending the current sentence to three years probation. Oh my God. 
Yes. But if the probation's violated, five years will be served as an adult. Is that understood? Your Honor, he accepts. Yes. Let's go and work out. And now for the fun part of my job. Are the adoptive parents here? Yes, sir, we are. Adoptive? Eli and Naomi, soon to be Waters. <laughs> Would you walk with your adoptive parents up to the bench? Ms. Waters, would you come up too, please? Since you're the reason we're all here today. You didn't know this was gonna happen, did you? No, I, I didn't know. See what all you've created? By the power vested in me by the Commonwealth of Virginia, I declare you a fan. <laughs> Congratulations, baby. We're a family now. I'm so happy for you. Awesome. You ready? Okay, let's go. Now life's going well, girl.
believe that I feel. See, I want to do what I want to do. This flesh man is real. But you paid my bills. Yes, you cured my ills. You took my shame and you took the blame. It's you who were killed. Then you raised from the grave in three days, then forgave. When you could have laid waste, you gave grace, then gave faith. All I see is my greed, and all of me is flawed indeed. You show love so flawlessly. I know I'm lost, but all I need is you. Obey. It's so easy to fake, like I follow all of your ways. My way appears to be right, but it always leads me astray. That momentary pleasure always leads to decay. When I'm in the public and the Mr. Judges, I receive applause and I love it. Hedonism is usually using me like a puppet. So I'm crying out, you're real. Drive me four wheels. I'm mortal, so fulfill my every need. 